Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it is surely coming to you all for sure. If this is your first, second, or third time to my YouTube channel, welcome and welcome back. Happy to have you all. Definitely hit that subscribe button before you guys leave and that notification bell before uh, you guys head on out. That way when I drop these content, you guys will get that uh, notification to come on in Difference World and come and learn about your girl yeah and for those that need a little bit more about me I'm an author motivational speaker and CEO of my own business third eye entertainment LLC a business that strives to bring social awareness to society with our products and services in which we educate inspire and entertain all at once so again welcome and happy to have you guys happy Monday to those out there uh, for Mondays we drop our motivational content and so this one's gonna be no different this one I like to title it um, the power of fear uh, yesterday I dropped my uh, Sunday inspiration uh, vlog and that was for put God first but um, usually you know when we go going after our goals most of us you know you're not human if you say you don't have any fear but most of us you know we we're human and so we have fears and doubts and, and, and setbacks when it, go, when it comes to you know achieving our goals or being motivated but what I want to talk about is how when, when one takes that power of fear and flips it and uses it uh, to its uh, their advantage. Uh, for me, um, I've been using my fear to, to, to motivate me uh, <laughs> to uh, go for my dreams and goals, man. I guess my biggest fear within myself um, is going back to where I came from, you know. Like I said, I, I at the age of 11, I was homeless, you know, sleeping from pillow to post, you know, cars, shelters, sleeping at parks and bus stops. Even at one point, slept in a crack house, and so um, my fear of, of living in that lifestyle, in that chaotic environment, it's what pushes me <laughs> to keep going and keep striving for greatness. Whether, I, however long it takes, I do not care. Just as long as I don't have to go back to, you know, sleeping in those cars or sleeping with one eye open and, and a hand under a, my, my knife under a pillow, and so. Anything I have to do in order to keep me from going back to that, that's what I'm going to do, including, you know, getting up and taking my ass to work, uh, uh, promoting my book and my business the best ways I can. You know, it's just me right now. Um, and so when it comes to posting the content and reaching out to people for interviews, you know, it's not like I have an agent uh, or, or anybody like a networking team on my side just yet. But all that can change, you never know. And so um, it's just me now, and, and that's okay. That's how it starts in the in the beginning. It's, it's you. You got to find that strength within you to go after your your dreams and your goals. And no matter what, don't let that fear stop you. Use that fear to push you forward. Um, I heard somebody use um, say that fear is like a four letter acronym of, of facing everything, every adversary rigorously, rigorously, whatever. <laughs> um, and so that's just what you have to do face every adversity that you, you uh, come across rigorously, rigorously whatever <laughs> and uh, you know no matter how many times you fall you know you get set back keep going keep trying you know get right back up there and try again um, as it you know as the saying goes with my usual motivation to content you guys it takes more than just one person to motivate you you need to hear from others and so check out this dope video that I found online um, I do apologize I can't remember who I found it from you guys know I definitely like to give credit um, but if you know YouTube you know tags it about the content they, they name it then of course uh, you guys will know what to find them at but in any case check them out here um, it's just, just uh, curated uh, speakers talking about you know using your fear to you know motivate you and push you forward so we'll check it out when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in different world and what's coming up next uh, as well as you know closing it out yep here it is now, a few of you know what it is to have something to so scold you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you that your fight goes out of you And you are so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you can ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people to say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies 
and you wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the fucking hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come wrapped in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare get in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy. There's peace. There's breakthrough. But you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole thing 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You may take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Try to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. But I know what it feels like. I can handle it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Don't get your dog on stuff. And don't let nobody tell you no. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still. And let the chaos run from you. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy listening and watching that inspirational and motivational video uh, to for those that may need it. And you know, just a reminder that it's okay. You know, if you fail and you fall, and if you're even afraid of going after your dreams, you know, still don't let that stop you. And so that was the gist of that you know, uh, motivational video. Uh, and it's a gist of this motivational video. Don't let fear stop you from going after yours and getting yours. You know, use that fear to push you forward and, 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 and let nothing stop you, including fear. Just turn that into an acronym. Fear is uh, uh, facing everything, uh, every adversity rigorously, like, right? I should have that under. <laughs> but um, in closeout of, of this uh, motivational content, you guys, Make sure you guys are doing, you know, self inventory check when it comes to, you know, believing in yourself, reevaluating your goals and your dreams, and as well as, you know, that mental, you know, health checks and those affirmations, you know, letting yourself know, giving yourself a pat on the back and reminding yourself that, you know, or, or giving yourself some slack and, and, and not being too much of a critic for yourself because there's others out there that's going to criticize you. So when it comes to, you know, facing your fears, don't get down on yourself or mad at yourself because you're afraid of something. Just use that fear to push you through and try through it. Even if it doesn't turn out how you expect it, at least you don't have to live with that what if factor. At least you got out there and you tried it and you faced your fears. And so use the power of fear to 
move you forward in life and to push you more towards your goals and to help you accomplish your dreams. Um, that's that's what you do when it comes to fear. You don't let it overtake you. You take over it. Yeah? And so with that being said, you guys, if you like what I'm uh, talking about in this uh, uh, motivational vlog, you know, the power of fear, and you agree with me, and you guys want to hear more or whatever, you can do so by letting me know by liking, sharing, comment, and subscribing. Definitely subscribing <laughs> to my YouTube channel, uh, hitting that notification bell as well. Um, what else? Um, and just keep coming on to Difference World and coming and learning about your girl. I do appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please, please, please keep it coming. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, moving right on with a different train. What else we got going on in Difference World? Um, I can't think of it right off the bat. But I do know you guys can check out all my other social media handles, including my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, as well as my YouTube on my website, differenceworld.net, as well as you can book me for any so, uh, excuse me, motivational speaking events that you would like for me to be a part of, uh, grassroots conversations. I am free of charge as of now. You just go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you would book me, okay? Also, or lastly on the Difference World agenda, don't forget... Go to my website and get my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. It is available in being that this uh, is mid-February, uh, Black History Month. This will be a great time to get yourself a copy. And so, again, remember that What If is written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So, again, please be advised that this is intended for mature audiences. So, if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Why? Because the point of the book is to get you guys talking about these conversations that need to be had and that are often swept under the rug and that's hard to have. It may be shameful. It may be hurtful. But I, I believe and I have witnessed, you know, the power of healing from the past, you know, talking about our past, acknowledging the hurt and pain that, that was caused by the other parties. There's healing in that and in, in digging up the past. And so, uh, and then... <clears throat> And this is a push for, you know, systemic change. That is, in my theory, how we can start by having these conversations consistently and constantly. So, again, go to my website, dippingswell.net, and get your copy of What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. You guys, I greatly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting and all the um, people, you know, leaving me reviews on Amazon. Definitely, you guys, keep it coming. I don't stop. Um, moving right along, again, with Difference World, the train, if you will. What else we got, you guys, coming up? Tomorrow is Tuesday, and so I'll be doing another uh, social awareness vlog. I think this one, what I want to do is a curated uh, vlog of my previous vlogs I did last year um, in telling, you know, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, breaking down the four main paradigms, the historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. Uh, and so be on the lookout for that, you guys. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, as well as in, you know, Wednesdays we have our podcast, Thursdays pop culture, and Friday is uh, travel vlogs. And so that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell. And so when I drop these content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn. And so with that, we're going to move right along into our mental health check. Um, this is uh, lastly, but mostly importantly, uh, in, our, um, in my segments when it comes to encouraging and pushing for mental health wellness. I want any and everybody out there that is going through any type of mental anguish, being uh, depression, putting suicidal, anxiety attacks, being bullied, I want you guys to know that it's okay to not be okay, but never, ever, ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that case may be to you. Talking with a therapist, a family, a friend, getting medication, mending broken bridges, cutting people off, picking up hobbies, whatever the case may be, do whatever you have to do to keep yourself from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you or you know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. Or you can text 988 or 741. For those that will prefer to go online, you can visit mentalhealthishealth.us or 988lifeline.org. Or those that are outside of the U.S. and like watching your girl's YouTube channel, check out ncounseling.com. Again, that is spelled E-N-C 
O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. As well as you guys, don't forget to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because remember, you are the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Lastly, you guys, with our mental health check, do not forget that you are not alone in this struggle and whatever that you are going through, this too shall pass, okay? So we're going to close out our mental health check and move on um, to the last little segment of uh, this vlog. Um, just encouraging you guys again and reminding you guys to let your fear, use that turn it, turn it, turn it fear and use that to your advantage. So the power of fear is, is, is a powerful tool if you use it right. And so don't forget you guys, whatever it is in life that you are believing that you're destined for, you first have to manifest, plan and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.